Hello and welcome to Quick Charge. I'm Steven and today is Wednesday, March 27th. Swedish automaker Volvo has rolled out its last diesel-powered passenger vehicle after a 45-year relationship with the powertrain and cranking out millions of oil-burning cars. Between 2012 and 2016, diesel cars accounted for half of the company's global sales. But those days are now over as the company moves towards an all-electric future. The car will head to the world of Volvo Museum in Gothenburg. Volvo Truck's diesel commercial trucking business still remains. However, by 2030, Volvo aims to be an electric-only automaker, making it one of the first legacy automakers to do so. The diesel passenger car market peaked in 2015. Now, with electrification firmly taking hold, diesel engine development has all but ceased in Europe. Last year, the number of new electric car registrations exceeded those of diesel-powered vehicles in Europe for the first time. By 2035, all new electric cars and vans registered in Europe will be zero emissions. For any of you guys that are wondering what it's like to drift, but don't really know how or want to learn how, Geely Auto is showing that its new AI digital chassis can not only safely operate on snow and ice without a driver, but it can also pull off fully autonomous drifting. With nearly 40 years of experience in scaled manufacturing, Geely is a notable name in the global EV landscape, pushing the boundaries of what mobility means. And to demonstrate some of their capabilities of the new chassis, Geely took to icy roads to perform autonomous drifting, a world's first, according to the automaker. It's already eerie enough to see a robo-taxi cruise around without a driver. Still, it is even crazier to see an EV perform maneuvers Geely describes as comparable to that of a professional race car driver. There's a lot of advanced technology at play in the new chassis to perform such aggressive driving techniques. Furthermore, the vehicle steer by wire system operates in millisecond level adjustments that deliver precise control of drift direction. These driverless drifts show Geely has become a global leader in autonomous driving. A few months ago, Tesla unveiled Optimus Gen 2, a new generation of its humanoid robot that should be able to take over repetitive tasks from humans. The new prototype showed a lot of improvements that gave some credibility to the project. Tesla leveraged its self-driving vehicle AI to develop the humanoid robot. Elon Musk predicted that Optimus will account for a majority of Tesla's long-term value. The CEO sees them taking over a lot of manufacturing and service jobs. But for that to work, they will have to be somewhat reasonably priced. Now, Musk believes that Tesla can bring the price of its Optimus humanoid robot down to less than half of a car, or around $20,000. Generally, these prices tend to fall with each generation of a technology. Of course, many doubt Tesla's long-term value proposition in robots, but with one of the most advanced autonomous driving systems, it kind of makes sense to leverage that powerful tech for more than just cars. Boston Dynamic has shown how versatile robots can be, and there may be an emerging market for them. Tesla is working on private 5G infrastructure to be connected to its electric vehicles and Optimus robot. The automaker was early in including internet connectivity in all its vehicles. It enabled over-the-air software updates and connectivity features. Job postings reveal that the automaker is now looking to upgrade to 5G. It's likely that Tesla plans to deploy its own private network in its manufacturing facility to stay connected to its products as well as for fleet capabilities. Hyundai announced a massive $50 billion investment to secure its position as the auto market transitions to EVs. The Korean automakers said they will hire 80,000 people in Korea to help it become a top three EV maker by 2030. Now, out of that money, over half of the investment will be used for research and development on EV infrastructure and manufacturing to, quote, dominate core technologies. The rest will be used on research and development for EVs and battery tech. The company will first make a quote large investment in a new EV specific factory. The new EV plant will begin production in 2026 and is expected to produce 200,000 EVs annually. The Korean automaker aims to be top three EV maker by 2030. Faced with an accelerating transition to electric, some legacy automakers are looking to go all in on EVs to secure the future market share. And by the looks of it, Hyundai is one of these automakers that is starting to feel the pressure. In today's community comment found on YouTube, somebody mentioned that the Tesla Model Y can qualify for van EV incentives by removing the rear seat. 
Now, we did not know that they were able to get incentives that way, and it would be nice to see if there were any of these type of conversions that can help get us more EV incentives here in the US.